Is Darth Vader in Star Wars Jedi, Survivor? Vader makes a cameo appearance in the final mission of Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order, after the main antagonist, the second sister, is defeated. After Vader kills her for her failure to retrieve a Jedi holocron, the protagonist, Padawan Cal Kestis, must escape from Vader, who attempts to get the holocron in his possession. Cal is ultimately able to escape from Vader's grasp with the help of his allies. The biggest clue came at the end of Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order, when Cal narrowly escaped a fight with Vader on Mustafar, after the villain had taken out Trilla. This means that he is well aware of Cal's presence, and could easily have unfinished business with the protagonist as he continues to hunt what remains of the Jedi Order. Another sign that Darth Vader could feature again in Star Wars Jedi, Survivor, is the game's timeline. The sequel is set in the year 9 BBY, before Battle of Yavin, placing it around the same time as the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series from 2022. None of the side characters from the first game appear in the teaser, and their ship, the Mantis, appears to be severely damaged. By the time of the sequel, Darth Vader's situation has changed substantially as well, which is part of the reason why he shouldn't make an appearance in the game. Jedi Fallen Order takes place in 14 BBY, around five years after the events of Star Wars, Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith and 14 years before the original Star Wars film. The game sequel takes place five years later, and a lot appears to have changed for Cal and his companions. We know that Darth Vader is active around this time and is still using his Inquisitors to hunt down the last of the Jedi, so it seems fairly realistic that he could get some screen time during Star Wars Jedi, Survivor. Seer reassumes her role as a Jedi and knights, Cal, before revealing she knows where Trilla is going. The pair infiltrate the Fortress Inquisitorius on Mustafar's oceanic moon Nur battling their way through legions of stormtroopers before finally reaching Trilla. Cal defeats Trilla and retrieves the holocron. Seer reconciles with Trilla, with the latter returning to the light for a brief moment before Darth Vader appears and kills her. Unable to defeat Vader, Cal and Seer escape from his grasp and are saved from drowning by Marin. The crew celebrates their success on the Stinger Mantis until they realize that the children listed on the holocron will only be in more danger if they become Jedi. Cal destroys the holocron with his lightsaber and asks where they will go next. Picking up five years after the events of Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order, the story of Star Wars Jedi, Survivor centers on Jedi Knight Cal Kestis, Cameron Monaghan, struggle to stay one step ahead of the hostile galactic empire and its relentless efforts to exterminate the last remaining survivors of Order 66. Among his newest adversaries is a mysterious Powan imperial senator, who makes a dangerous deal of sorts, and the Jedi Ravis, who believes that the Jedi should be extinct. The development of a sequel to Jedi, Fallen Order was announced in January 2022. The game's title of Star Wars Jedi, Survivor was announced in May 2022 alongside the debut of a CGI teaser trailer at Star Wars Celebration. The game is being developed by Respawn Entertainment and is scheduled to be released on April 28, 2023, for PlayStation 5, Windows, and Xbox Series X S. Stig Asmussen claimed real-time ray tracing and other next-gen capabilities enable Respawn to operate at a quality that's much above anything that we've ever developed before. By exclusively targeting ninth-generation consoles, Survivor will enjoy significantly faster load times with a development team that is no longer obligated to support the older PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles the first game launched on. This is due to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X S consoles featuring a solid-state drive SSD, that enables much faster asset loading times compared to a hard drive.